Hi guys and welcome back to our IELTS course. In our today's lesson we are going to learn about section 3 and 4 and also we'll review different strategies and tips for these two sections. Before we'll begin learning about section 3 and 4, I would like to go back and review with you what we studied previously. As you remember, IELTS listening module has four sections and 40 total questions. You'll be given 30 minutes to listen to the recordings, answer the questions, and extra 10 minutes to transfer your answers to your answer sheet. As you remember, we had four sections, and section one is going to be about a conversation within a social situation. Section two is going to be a monologue on the general subject. Our section three is going to be a conversation between up to four people with an education or training context. And our final section four is going to be a monologue as a lecture or academic talk. You'll hear also different task types. You'll be completing them in the IELTS listening test. They are going to be as the following ones, note completion, gap fill, short answer, table completion, the most popular multiple choice questions, sentence completion, and labeling a diagram. So that's what we have for the listening module. And today we'll continue learning about section three and four. Now we are going to review section three. It is going to be about discussion. The main strategy here to remember is listening for details. Remember, a speaker may correct himself or herself, so you need to, to pay attention to the possible changes in opinions and facts. To focus on the details, circle the keywords in the question or statement and keywords in the multiple choice options as well. Listen for these words or similar words in the discussion. Sometimes, as you remember, speakers do not say exactly the same words, but they paraphrase their ideas. Listen carefully because a speaker may also alter what he or she says. Here we have an example from authentic IELTS test. For example, speaker might say the following. I left on June 25th. No, it was the 26th. I arrived on the 25th, but returned on the 26th. So see, it can be a little bit confusing. So you need to really pay attention and understand what kind of question you have. When the person arrived, or when the person left. So make sure you are listening carefully and taking your notes. And now you can see our example for the discussion type of task. What you have to do here is to circle the keywords and in my case I highlighted them for you and listen to the audio and answer the question. So for example our first question is asking you what does a student say about the introductory Spanish class? So when you highlight the keywords, so for example, student is very important word and introductory Spanish. Also pay attention that it's not only Spanish, but introductory Spanish. Maybe student is going to talk about different types of Spanish classes, such as middle level or intermediate or advanced. So make sure that you are paying attention to modify you have before the word Spanish. And also, as I mentioned earlier, so you have your multiple choices, A, B, C. So you need to pay attention and highlight or circle the keywords. In this case, he took it already, so took already, too easy, and doesn't have room. So doesn't have room, think about a paraphrase as well. When someone says doesn't have room, it means his schedule doesn't have room. So that means that his schedule is full. So they might say it differently in the listening recording. And the following two questions are similar to our first one. So make sure before you start listening to the recording that you take notes, circle the keywords, and listen carefully. Now we're going to review how to label a diagram. Try to label the diagram without hearing the audio. This will focus your attention on what you need to listen. Also try to pay attention to the directions. And remember not to write more words than required. For example, in the following diagram and task, you are required to write only two words. If you write three words, your response automatically will be incorrect. So make sure to write one or two words when you are completing a labeling the diagram kind of task. Matching words and phrases. When we have this task, we need to read the list to make an assumption about the topic of the discussion. 
Also paraphrasing the items in the list is very important too, because it will prepare you for the discussion and what you are going to hear. The most important tip here to remember is that some items in the list may, be, may not be mentioned in the discussion or they may be mentioned in different order. So here we have an example from A through D and you have a paraphrase on the side. So for example, in our A, it states the following. It requires weekend hours. So you might hear something like work on Saturdays and Sundays. And for example, B is the salary is too low. And instead you might hear something, it doesn't pay much. C is far from his home. It requires a long drive. And D is already being filled. They've already hired someone. So as you see, paraphrase is very important and they can prepare you for the discussion you are going to hear. Also make sure that you are preparing yourself and thinking about different ways of saying some things because in the listening part, it's not gonna be exactly like you see in A, B, C, D. All right guys, so look at the following example we have from the authentic IELTS test. And the IELTS test is asking you, what does Elizabeth do in each one of her classes. Choose your answers from the box. You are given A, B, C, D. For example, A, write papers, B, give a presentation, C, go on the field trips, and D, read a lot. And you also see paraphrase that I have written about these answers. So as, as I mentioned previously to you that you're not going to hear sometimes the same exact words like writing papers. It can be stated as researching or writing essays. Giving a presentation can be said as a giving a speech. So you also have three following classes, economics, sociology, and geology. If you have a similar task like this one, all you have to do, for example, economics, and you are going to write down which one, A, B, C, D. In economics class, she is writing papers maybe. So you're going to write down A. Sociology class, maybe she's going on the field trip. So for sociology, you're going to write down C. And for example, geology, maybe she's reading a lot or maybe she's writing papers as well. So it can be an A or D. As you can see, some answers can be repeated. So for example, economics and geology, both can be an A. Just pay attention and listen carefully.